Okie dokie. A little infographic session here. I've got my iPad for my tunes. My lossless streaming services. There she goes. And coming out of the old iPad is it was 44.1k and 88.2k 176.4k yes I've got a track in my library that comes up as that um, I have 48k songs 96k songs um, especially in the jazz genres some some pop comes up as that, but not very often. And 192, very rarely I get a few of them. Uh, if you listen to Chic, Chic, I'll have a few 192 albums. Um, but anyway, so this is how I used to do it. Well, here's the timeline of events. We'll go green dotted line is a digital stream through the USB world land and it ended up just through a few hubs and gadgets into my babyface sound card by RME babyface it's the original one it's from about 2010 and it was my little secret weapon so I thought it would send out a pure digital stream of what it was receiving on my DSP, which is a computer with a sound card by RME again, it was the UFX2, and it handled the digital input capturing, and it handled the analog output to the amps. So that's the amps, speakers, blah blah blah. Uh, I used to run this system at 192 kilohertz or 176 kilohertz and this would jump from either one depending on what was playing over here so if it was a red it would play 192 if it was blue it would play 176 and Let's just say we're playing a 44.1 and we had a 176 DSP running. I had to implement a low pass filter to cut off at the, let's say, 22 ish K mark to avoid aliasing from the UFX2. And this worked great <laughs> up until the point where I started hearing. Aliasing. I thought this is crazy. Uh, yeah, so I had different filters for the different. This is double speed, quad speed. So I had different filters for the different uh, numbers. In fact, no filter was needed for those last two high rates. So I started hearing aliasing uh, in a 96 kilohertz song. And I thought. What is going on? Maybe, maybe the uh, engineer's a bit, a bit slack. Uh, it wasn't too bad. It was like jazz. It was snarky puppy. I thought, why would they leave that tiny grain in there that just ruined it, the enjoyment of it? And then I heard it in another track, which was a kind of Brazilian bossa nova jazz thing, and single piano notes in silence with a bit of percussion is the be all and end all of looking for aliasing, like the piano has a certain amount of harmonics in it that shouldn't have all these other harmonics and um, then I knew that I had a problem in my system and just to clear things up I sent a, a signal, full analog signal from the baby face, it has balanced outs and then I just did an AB session listening to these two outputs and sure enough, those album, all those albums that sounded funny sounded good. Now the thing I also picked on, picked up on was on a 44.1 track, 
I listened to it on this uh, analog output and it sounded a bit cleaner than my digital. Uh, so sure enough, long story short, I had Aliasing in my 44.1 tracks, but it was very, very subtle and it wasn't the filtering. It was the fact that it wasn't really syncing to 44.1 even though the engine was at a, a multiplication. I always assumed it was just um, sample stuffing or trying to interpolate or whatever, but no, it was just um, not syncing. It said lock on the app, or on the um, pop-up, but um, it wasn't really properly synced, so it was probably drifting one or two samples every now and then. Um, so that threw everything out the window for me. So now we get to the, the crux of where we are. I happen to find in my cupboard of things another two-channel uh, digital to analog, and it was the ADI 2 from RME. And it might be just two. It's not the new one, it was, it's still from 2010. 2021. Um, so I ran the digital from these to go here into here, and then the analog into here. And then when I was doing an A B sesh on those guys, and um, being that they're the same company, roughly the same year, I thought they're going to sound pretty much the same. But no, there was a pretty uh, significant difference, or any difference for me is significant, so I'll be uh, sh demonstrating and testing that maybe in an upcoming vid. So, hope that explains things with all my scribbles, and I have video of me putting this in the boot, and plugging this into there, and doing all this sort of stuff. But yeah, it sort of blew away my, let's just hope I'm doing the right thing and then finding out that you're not really doing the right thing and um, be interesting just to A-B this this old digital path I did with the new sound card um, especially on this 44.1 content because that was pretty hard to find alright over and out